Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk, maths teacher from Australia, and today, or well, actually in this series of lessons, I'm going to use World of Warcraft to teach you all some high school maths. So after you uh, finish this series, you should probably get a better understanding of the maths if nothing else. Uh, you don't need this game to watch these videos. Okay, but if you do want to play it, um, you can get it for free nowadays. It's just something like a 30 gigabyte download. And you can only play up to level 20 for free or something like that. But um, anyway, uh, so the first lesson, what I want to show you guys is just the coordinate system of World of Warcraft. And we're going to compare it to the Cartesian plane, the coordinate system you learn in high school maths. So you can see that I'm just running around right now and you can see there are some numbers here that tell me the coordinates of where I am right now. Okay, the first number 65 is the X coordinate. Okay, and the X coordinate changes if I run horizontally across the map. Okay, so you can see the arrow is where I'm facing and I'm pointing towards up which is the north. So if I face the right hand side, which you can think of as the east, as the east, and if I start running, you will see the first number will change. So if I run now, okay, it changed to 66. But the second number has not changed at all because the second number, 74, is the y-axis. So if I start facing in reverse so let's now face this way and I run forward you can see um, the 65 will get less and less because that's the horizontal axis okay so we've got 64 63 pretty soon and so on so if you run horizontally across the map the first number will change and if you run vertically up and down the map the the second number will change so if I now face up Actually, that's not a good place to run, so let's get back to here. Okay, so now if you have a look at my second number, all right, because I'm now facing upwards. Okay, the arrow is facing up, and if I run up and down, watch the first number is not going to do anything, but the second number will change. So if I start running, so if I run up, it changed to 73, and if I run downwards, it's going to go 74, 75, 76, but the first number stays constant because I'm only running up and down the map. So left and right is the first number, up and down is the second number. Okay, so you might say, well, why do we need a coordinate system? Because if you open up the map, okay, you can see that everywhere on this map uh, is specified using the coordinate system. Okay, so if I for example, need to get somewhere and someone tells me, okay, you need to get to the coordinates, whatever for X, whatever for Y, and I can just get there straight away. Okay, so let's do that now. That's That can be your first learning activity. Okay, so let's say I want to now go and find um, this uh, blacksmith trainer and they're located in um, Stormwind which is the city I'm in now um, at 63.8 37.2 63.8 for the coordinates so let's now go and let's see the general area they're in is about um, there okay so let's go back to our game and let's go to 63.8 and what was it? 63.837.2. So it's going to be about here in the Dorvan district. So I'm going to run towards there now and see if I can find it. So um, you can see my coordinates right now is 65. So uh, I'm going to have to run to the right. And I'm going to have to run upwards because the coordinates right now is 69. Okay, I'm trying to get to 37, so I need to go up uh, quite a bit. So let's run, run, run. 
So I'm now a bit closer, 63.8, 37.2. So I've got to go left a little bit and up, right? Because I'm now at 49, so 37 is a bit higher. So uh, run, run, run. I'm going to the left. 63.8 and vertically I have to go up a bit to 37 so let's run up so I'm now a bit too far to the left but I'll get back to the middle so up a bit so I'm pretty close now um, should be around here somewhere so 37.2 so I have to go down now okay so 63.8 so a bit to the left so this looks like it, the blacksmith trainer. All right, this is who I'm looking for, and I'm gonna learn the blacksmith skill from them. But um, that's you. You guys don't need to worry about that. Okay, so there's the mats now. Just a bit more detail for you guys who are learning about um, algebra in high school, the coordinate system. So when you learn about um, the court, the Cartesian plane in maths, okay, the Cartesian plane, you'll often learn that the vertical axis y uh, starts off zero in the middle and goes up with positive numbers increasing. So one, two, three, four, five, and if you go down, it's negative. So negative, negative, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And if you go to the right for the x-axis, it's positive. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But if you go to the left, it's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So for example, if somebody is standing right here, okay, their coordinates would be x, which is three, and vertically y which is let's say 4.5 and that's how you write it but if someone was standing here they would be negative 3 for x negative 4 for y so that's the high school one okay this is what you learn in high school but just keep in mind that in world of warcraft it's actually reversed vertically so in world of warcraft Okay, in World of Warcraft, the coordinates, while the X is the same, so going to the right is positive, right, and going to the left is negative. Uh, in World of Warcraft, going down is actually positive. So going down, they're actually going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but going up, it's negative in well, okay, which is the reverse of what you learn in high school. So just keep that in mind when you are um, playing well and when you're doing a test in high school maths. Okay, I hope this video has helped you guys somewhat. If it hasn't, then uh, feel free to uh, write a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.